Hey guys, RZ Origami here. Today I'll be teaching you how to fold an origami skull and crossbones. And I know I haven't posted a video in a while, so I'll be posting a video today and if I have time, tomorrow. So to begin, start colored side up. It's best to use a paper that's white on one side. So it turns out good and it looks like a skull and crossbones. So, first fold in half. We need to divide the paper into an 8x8 grid. Now fold to the center crease. And fold the other edge to the center crease. Now unfold and fold it to the new crease here. And fold this edge to this crease here. And now we just need to repeat on the other side here. So fold to this crease, the first crease, and unfold and fold to this crease here. Unfold, turn it around, and fold in half. Unfold and fold to the middle crease. And fold this edge to the middle crease. I'll be posting a video for St. Patrick's Day soon. And I'm thinking of designing a leprechaun hat or a cauldron full of gold. Comment down below for to tell me what to design next. I'm running out of ideas fast. So now fold this edge to this crease. Unfold and repeat this on this side. and fold this edge to this crease. So now we have an eight by eight grid. Now let's fold diagonally in half this direction. And sharply unfold and fold diagonally in the other direction and now we just need to collapse it so now we need to collapse the paper into something that looks like a weird octopus thing. So first, let's flip it over and make these two creases here. Then, we can pinch along these two points that come three points from the edge, three cubes from the edge, and one cube from the middle. So we pinch along those. Now we need to collapse this part. Make the middle crease here, and then this part should kind of collapse in. So push it in, and then make sure these two edges will align. And make a diagonal fold that runs from this point to the middle point here. Like that. 
and do the same thing on this side. Make sure that the edges align and collapse it. So you should have something like this. Now we just need to collapse it. So to do that, we need to make a mountain fold here and pinch it all the way to this point. And then we'll make a crease originating from this point all the way to this point here. So take these two edges, they should align, and then make a fold here. And then this part, you just want to collapse. Make this middle part into a valley fold on the existing crease. And then you want to collapse on folds that originate from this point to these two points here. And then just collapse. So you have to put like this. Now we need to repeat this three more times. So fold along this edge and then collapse here. Make the crease here and then collapse the model here. Now turn it around, do the same thing. Make this into a mountain fold. Make it extend three blocks and make a crease over here. Then you want to collapse this part. And same thing over here. Make a crease over here and the diagonal fold over here. Then collapse. So you should have something like this. Now, fold these flaps down, both sides, like this, and we need to stretch this flap out to make a new flap. Fold along this, uh, this fold here. And it should be one cube down. So fold along that point, that edge, and then you see that a pocket should op is opening up over here. Like that. Now you want to squash this little triangle. Make sure the folds come from this point and end at these this point here. Increase sharply. And then you want to flatten up the flap here and collapse. So you should get another long flap here. Now we need to repeat this three more times. On this side and on these two sides. So take the flap, stretch it, and then you want to collapse the flap here. Sometimes it won't stretch out well. Then when that happens, you want to just re redo it. So it should come down with this edge. And you want to squash the little triangle here. And that'll collapse. Now flip it over. And do it again here. So take these flaps and fold it along that edge, and then squash it here, and then collapse the flap down. And same thing on the last edge here. Cool.
collapse the triangle and it should look something like this. So you have a total of six flaps on this side and four flaps on this side. So a total of 10 flaps. So this is part one of the skull and crossbones. And for part two, I'll be posting the video soon. It might come with this video. It'll take a while. Bye guys. Hope you guys had a great time folding this. And be sure to watch out for the next video. Bye.